Hi everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Hey, I'm sure you've seen either our advertisements or our flyers or our marquee that said that we have our Trunk or Treat event coming back up again. Uh, this will be our ninth year ever since I got here to Walden nine years ago. Uh, we have had Trunk or Treat here at the church. Uh, it's been on October 31st on Halloween day every single year. It's from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. And uh, basically what we do is we just open up the campus. We open up the campus and we've got cars parked outside and those are people from your neighborhood and they're there to warmly greet your children and to pass out candy. Uh, the Boy Scouts will be there as well. They run some games outside. We'll have our fire truck out there uh, from our local fire department. We've got a live DJ playing music and we'll have uh, pork, uh, barbecue pork there as well from a caterer. So you'll have something to eat. So come hungry. It's a free event, free event. We just ask that you arrive at 5 p.m. Don't arrive before that. Uh, we're not gonna be ready for you. So we'll only be ready at five o'clock and we'll shut down right at seven. And that's a good time because that's when it starts to get dark. You'll be able to go out into the community and do some more trick or treating uh, in your neighborhood. Now let's talk a little bit about Halloween. Uh, we're not the only church, obviously, that does a Halloween event, but there are some communities and there are some uh, faith-based organizations that kind of don't recognize the holiday and don't do anything. And and so you know, ever since I got here and arrived in Walden nine years ago, I never really gave the church even the opportunity to say no. It was one of those things that I just kind of started and didn't ask permission for. And I just said, you know what, this is what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this. And I think every year there's some people that just kind of like, really, a church is gonna do something on Halloween? I mean, isn't that Satan's birthday? Uh, so uh, every year what I do is I try to address that and just talk about those concerns. So this Sunday, at Walden Church, uh, we have two opportunities for you to worship, one at 9.30 and one at 11. And I will be talking about that. I will talk about where Halloween came from as, as a culture for America. Like, where did the American holiday come from? How did we arrive here? Kind of how it's evolved uh, over the years. And then what I think our Christian responsibility is. Like, how do I see us engaging and interacting, not only with the holiday, but with culture. Because I think God wants us to engage in our culture, not to run from it, not to ignore it. We can't be Christians who live in a bubble. Christians should not be the silent minority who shrink into the background. We should be the people who are at the forefront, who are shaping culture, leading culture. Don't take yourself out of the game of life. Don't look to escape from interaction. In fact, the only time we ever see Jesus go off by himself was to pray. Jesus hung out with people. Jesus hung out with his community. He was an engaging person. And I think Christians still need to be people who engage, people who take on their culture and their society. We've got two opportunities. Like I said, we have a 9.30 service. That is our more traditional service with hymns. We have a choir and we have our 11 o'clock service that has a worship team and we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. Hey, we wanna be your local church and I'll see you Sunday.